They have the right to choose. Ashley Button Schoen says she's a COVID survivor and mother who spread the disease to one of her children. She says she's no anti-vaxxer, <laughs> rather pro-freedom. I'm not here to say you shouldn't get vaccinated. I'm not. And, but but we should be able to have personal responsibility here. Today's announcement by Governor Inslee to mandate vaccines for school workers is resonating through public servants across the spectrum. Mike Johnson is a Bellingham firefighter who doesn't want a vaccine and believes no one should force it on him. He says he and like minded firefighters are now being villainized and terrorized. We're being told basically the only way that you can help yourself is through terror. We're being threatened with our job loss, our securities, financial loss. I mean, this is, it's horrible. That first they use fear, then they use guilt, then they use bribery, and now they're using force. That's how you manipulate people. Nancy Hill says she's a cardiac nurse at Bellingham's Peace Health St. Joseph Medical Center, where she was recently mandated to get a vaccine or lose her job. She says her rights and those of teachers shouldn't be any different than those of her patients. What we want to put in our bodies, we have that right. And if we don't consent, that has to be upheld. Anyone who doesn't want any medical treatment or a certain kind of medical treatment absolutely has that right to, to not consent. And as more mandates are handed down from Olympia, the divisions are growing deeper. It doesn't matter if there's a pandemic. It doesn't it doesn't matter because you it shouldn't infringe on your freedoms. And Inslee should not be able to take away our freedoms because he's not a king. Organizers here say they're not stopping with street protests. They're planning to try to organize teachers and picket school boards who go along with the governor's mandate. In Bellingham, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.